My life is pretty boring. Every day, I live the same exact cycle. I wake up, go to class, study, eat, and sleep. Restart. Wake up, go to class, study, eat, and sleep. I'm sure all college students can relate to feeling like you're lagging behind and feeling like you're just never doing enough. You aren't being social enough. You don't have enough friends. You haven't joined enough clubs. You haven't applied to enough internships. You haven't developed enough relationships. College sometimes just feels like a hamster wheel you can never get off of. So I decided to document a month in my life. All the ups and downs, no BS. This is what life looks like for an ordinary college student in LA. It is 11.45 a.m. and I woke up and I realized that I have no groceries. So we're gonna try to go grocery shopping because my class was at one, so we really only have like about a little more than an hour to go grocery shopping. And I wanna go to Ralph's and Trader Joe's. So we will see if we can make it. But I just spent the past like 30 minutes making a list on my Notion and just like meal planning because I feel like that helps so much to get it organized and make sure that I don't like waste food and stuff just to make sure I'm getting exactly what I need. So this is the outfit of the day. I have so many like sets like these but I just never wear them because I'm not that much into athleisure. But you know, I thought we would experiment today with this cute little pink set from Set Active. Low-key and leggings, I feel like an elf, especially since this color is so light pink. I, I it washes me out so much. I got my head out this sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. You got me stuck on the thought of you. You're making me feel brand new. You're more than a sunshine in my eyes. You got those pretty eyes in your head. You know it. You got me dancing in my bed. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna talk about the fact that idealist, I think, because it's a big theme. Today is going to be a new day, and today is going to be a good day. I didn't really talk about this yesterday, but I was just feeling so sad and just, just, just like just like sad yesterday. Like I took a nap, I didn't, I literally skipped class and just slept. I don't know, I just felt sad and so unmotivated. And I think it's like a combination of online school. But today, you know, we're going to change our mindset and we're just gonna try to get out of the slump. We're not gonna be sad anymore, we're gonna choose to be happy today. To make myself feel better, that day I made some lunch plans with a friend. I think sometimes I tend to just draw away from people, so this semester I'm gonna make it a priority to reach out more. One thing I wanna show you guys is I've been trying out this Rare Beauty contour stick, and it's actually so much better than I expected. Like, I thought that this color, the shade, would be too orange for me. I don't know if you can see. Um, but I just like didn't think it would match my skin tone, but it's actually a pretty good match in my opinion I might be totally wrong because I tend to choose really bad contours I don't know. I feel like it's like such a creamy formula and it blends so well. This is not sponsored I just I just I just love this contour. Okay, here's a super super quick outfit of the day First of all, the star of the show is my blush. This rare beauty blush is so pigmented too pigmented um I sh just ignore it. Okay, I literally I tried scrubbing it off. I can't. So we're just gonna go out looking like this. Girls who over blush. If you get it, you get it. Okay. So I'm this like whole outfit is from Black Up. Except this. This is from Yes Style, and this bag is from By Far. But this is the look we're going for today. Kind of just casual. I don't know. I'm just going out to lunch. Also, getting the Dyson Airwrap might be one of the best decisions I've ever made. I don't know. Um, I just love it because it literally takes me less than 10 minutes to do this. It's so much quicker than a hair curler. And I just like how bouncy it is. Look at my hair. 
you can basically trampoline on it to the moon. After doing some work, I got ready for bed. I took off all my makeup and then used my Curology cleanser to take the rest off. Speaking of Curology, thank you for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys don't already know, Curology is a customized skincare brand. I've been using it for around three to four months now and I've honestly made my skin so much better. I use this baby every single night and I feel like it has definitely cleared up the bumps, like the tiny bumps on my forehead and just a lot of acne on my face and the moisturizer and the face cleanser is super super gentle and I think it's like perfect for all skin types. Curology is super easy to sign up. All you do is go online, fill out a quick survey and send us some pictures and then licensed professionals are going to look at your quiz and your survey and make you this amazing combination of products that is going to help your skin so so much. For one month free trial, all you have to do is cover shipping and handling which is literally less than like a cup of coffee i highly recommend that you guys try them out like seriously at this point you guys are missing out you, you guys are really missing out so thank you so much Acrology, for sponsoring this video go try them out guys click out the link in my description below it's friday night and i currently have no plans um these days i feel like i've just been feeling really i don't know i don't want to say like alone I feel like before I used to be really independent and I was able to be alone because I feel like I always had like the option to like go hang out with friends if I wanted to. When I'm forced to be alone, I really don't want to be and I've been super unproductive these days. I kept pushing the mindset on me like, oh, if you're alone or you feel lonely, might as well just like fill your time with like work and stuff. But I've just been really unmotivated and unproductive. And obviously with COVID and stuff, it's just hard for everyone to go out and make friends and do social things. But I think it definitely does take like a mental toll on people. I guess if you don't have any plans on a Friday night, don't feel bad because I don't either. I just want to learn how to be alone again and how to feel productive and content by myself. After feeling sad last night, I decided to have a restart and just refresh my life. When school gets busy, my room gets messy real fast, so I like to clean everything up on the weekends and just enjoy a few hours at least of a clean room. I almost never make my bed because it's like in the corner, so it's just so hard to make it look neat. But today, you know, I'll just throw something together for you guys. Next, it's time to clean my desk. I don't think I realized just how fast things get dusty until I lived by myself because by the end of each week, it just looks like there was like a sandstorm in my room or something. And then onto the most important part, sweeping my hair. The amount of hair I sweep is very concerning because that's the amount of hair that's falling off of my head. You know, I blame my parents for giving me bad hair jeans, but yeah, every couple of days my hair just piles up and it's so disgusting, but I've honestly just learned how to live with it. And I also clean my bathroom counter each week because I'm definitely not one of those people who can live with an entire layer of toothpaste like cemented into their sink. 
Come on guys, we can't stoop that low. Cleaning gives me a mental refresh as well and just makes me feel ready to start the next week with a new mindset. I thought we could do a little get ready with me because approximately 10 minutes ago, my friend Sydney said, we should go cafe hopping. And I look like this. So we're gonna work on this together and get ready, get cute. Go to a cafe that's 30 minutes away and spend unnecessarily $9 on a cup of coffee. But that's just how we do it in LA. <laughs> yeah. All right, today is not a good eyeliner day. Okay, this is the outfit that we have decided on. We're going to Cha Cha Oh wait, I'm literally falling. We're starting over. <laughs> We're going to Cha Cha Matcha. Okay, let's go to school. got back from class and Trader Joe's and tell me why I feel a need to buy flowers every week now um, maybe it's a girl power thing I don't know as you can see in the previous clip I bought those those flowers I, I'm, I'm not a florist and I bought these tulips and they're just like enjoyable to have even though they like die in a week I feel like it would be better if I went to an actual florist instead of like in Trader Joe's but you know we work with what we have Hi guys, I haven't caught up with you guys in quite a while, like the first week is basically over at this point. Quick updates about my life. I slept for literally 12 hours last night. I literally just cried yesterday in a parking lot. I had to write a paper, which again, I have no idea what direction I wanted to go in. I think I'm like a mediocre writer. I'm so hungry right now. So I went to this freaking poke place, they said that they were open, not a single soul there. And at that point, I was so defeated, you know, like all I wanted was food. Head scratching fits. Like drifting in and out of consciousness. So that's how my morning went. So now it's the middle of February and here are some updates. I joined a couple of clubs. I wanted to make an effort to put myself out there this semester and just be more a part of the community. I still buy myself flowers every week. I went on a second spontaneous cafe run with Sydney. And I think the one takeaway that I have from this month is that I used to be so focused on curating this ideal, perfect college experience and just this perfect life, but I forget to actually live it. And yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to do going forward is to actually just live life and take it day by day. I really hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 이제 조금 늦게 수 있어